Some time ago, I released a video comparing different types of blankets, blankets that you might consider when you go camping. I compared wool blankets against down-filled blankets, against synthetic-filled blankets, against fleece blankets, and I gave all the pros and cons to that. Well, the viewer acceptance of that video was pretty good. I was actually quite impressed how many people were interested in what I had to say. So as a result, I decided to start a short series comparing different types of wool blankets that, that I could bring to you of each category. So in this video, I'm bringing to you the Rumpel. This is a synthetically filled blanket designed specifically for use in the outdoors. If you're interested in hearing about this blanket, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank the company Rumpel for sending me this blanket so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly go over some of its key features. I'll go over its specifications, and then I'm going to share with you my experiences using it. So as far as key features go, one of the key things is the fact that this is made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastics, things like pop bottles. I think that's a great environmental message all by itself. The, the blanket comes with two features which are kind of unique. One, it has corner loops on all four corners, and I'll share with you what those look like in a few moments time, as well as how you can use it, and a cape clip so that you can wrap this around your shoulders and turn it into a cape for keeping warm, of course. Uh, yeah, another nice unique feature on this blanket. It does have a durable water repellent fit finish on it and I'll talk about my experiences in testing that and it's machine washable so it's great this is not something that can't be done with a whole lot of blankets but can be done with this is that if it does get dirty you can put this in the washing machine following their directions and uh, it won't cause any damage to it. Very quickly, the specifications for this blanket include the fact that it, as I mentioned, is made from recycled materials. So this has a 30D ripstop nylon on the outsider, or both sides for that matter, and a holocore synthetic fibers on the insider for inside for insulation. It is weigh comes in at 2.1 pounds, which is pretty much exactly one kilogram, and its size is 52 inches by 75 inches, so quite generous in size. All right, just before I take the blanket out to give you a closer look at it, I thought I would go over some of the options that are available from Rumpel. So this is their original blanket. This is the one that started everything going. They call this the original puffy blanket. And, uh, it, you know, as nice as it is, they have other options because, of course, it's always good to have options. So let me just read a few of them to you. So to start with, sizes. They have sizes in a one person. That's what this will be. A two person, a kid size, a travel size a junior size and even a throw. As far as insulation materials go, they have the original, which is what this is. They have a nano loft. They have a nano loft flame down and a feather light down. Now, let me just talk about the flame down. What that is, is a blanket that has a flame resistant covering on one side of it. Because of course, that's one of the downsides to a synthetic blanket like this is if you're gonna wear it next to a fire, you can expect any sparks to go right through it. Something that, wool has over a blanket like this, but that's a nice combination to have a blanket with a synthetic filling for all the benefits that it has, but a flame resistance coating on the outside. Yeah, they have uh, other materials like they have a hemp, a Sherpa, a Sherpa Puffy, and even a Merino wool blanket. That's really the, the, you know, the best that you can do, a Merino wool blanket, as far as wool blankets go. They have a wide range of colors, and I mean an unbelievably wide range of colors. And they have a series of blankets that focus on U.S. and Canadian national or federal parks. They have blankets that, uh, that have the names or given names for each of those parks. So I think that's kind of a unique thing. So if you have a favorite national park that you like to attend, you can buy a blanket that is dedicated to that with that name on the blanket as well. I think that's really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put the camera back a little bit so that I can show you what this blanket looks like opened up. All right, as I mentioned, here is the blanket in its stuff sack. And I'm going to tell you now, you're looking at this thinking, I don't know if I like the colors of this blanket. Well, that's the nice thing is there are so many different patterns and colors to choose from that you don't have to be stuck with this one. This is one of their originals. This one is known as Teton Fade. And, uh, you know, when I first got it, I, oh, I don't know. But you know something? The more I use this, it may not be tradi speak traditional bushcraft, but... Uh, I actually quite like it, as you'll see. All right, so 
Here's the blanket and I'm going to step back and throw it over my shoulders and show you how it works as a cape in a moment. But I wanted to see if I could give you some close-ups of the material. That's really going to be hard to pick up that it is a very, very fine ripstop nylon. Now, by the way, it is black on the inside as well. I'm going to give you a quick look at the corner loops. So on all four corners, this little piece of paracord that runs around as a loop. Now you can see I put a little piece of gutted paracord on this as well, and I'll explain why in a moment. But without going into first the detail of why the extra piece, so you could use this as a blanket on the ground by pegging down all four corners for a picnic blanket and sitting down on it for sure. But there are other ways you could use this as part of your shelter building by using the corner loops to uh, help hang it up and maybe as a mini tarp. But I'll explain the why I put those pieces of paracord on in a minute. Okay, here is a close up of the little cape clip and I'm gonna put that on now to show you how that works. So let me just grab the other side of this. Now, try not to cover up my microphone as I do. Throw this over my shoulders. So, I'll come up close. So here is the cape clip, as you can see. It's just a little side lock buckle, snap buckle. As this, in this case, it is a top push button buckle. And on the opposite side is a little loop of material that you feed it through and snap it together. Okay, the blanket is held together. Let me back up without tripping over anything. To give you an idea of what this looks like, so what I've done is I've attached it around my body, and this is just like a big cape, but oh man, is this ever nice for wrapping up in and staying warm when you, you know, things like when you first get up in the morning, your body is chilled to go outside and you just want to sit and have your cup of coffee. Well, this is something that you can wrap yourself up in and stay warm with. You could stay next to a fire with this as long as you're careful not to get sparks on it. So, you know, take all the precautions, make sure it's a hardwood fire, which throw less sparks than others do. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice that way. So, but that's not the only reason to take a blanket with you in the woods. So why would you take a blanket with you um, at all? Well, uh, let's just talk about that for a second. So I did so in that other video, choosing blankets, but we'll just go back over a few of the key points at this time. So blankets are an alternative to a sleeping bag, to be quite honest. You can, especially in warmer weather, you could use this as your sole means of staying warm at night. You can just wrap up in this and use it as an alternative to a sleeping bag because it is a good enough size that you can throw over you. Now, it's not going to wrap right around you completely like a sleeping bag will. It's a little bit small for that, but it can certainly wrap over you, kind of like a top quilt is, it, or does. And that's what I want to show you now. Uh, you could use this as a, a, an addition to a sleeping bag. So if you, your sleeping bag is that you have is not of a rating for the temperature that you are in, then you can use this as another layer on top of the sleeping bag you have. And that's kind of what I, well, that was the intent here. So with this little piece of gutted paracord, what I can do is loop it through the one on the other side, tie it off, and close one end up. So with this, I am able to put it over top of another sleeping bag and have it kind of wrap around the bottom of my feet. I can also do it at the top end if I want to wrap it around my neck, kind of like a, a top quilt would be that you use inside of a hammock or on a mat, like a, a, an air mattress below. And that will keep this on top of you while you're sleeping in your sleeping bag so that it doesn't slide off because notoriously, uh, slippery material on slippery material, you always wake up with the thing having slid off you. Well, this is a way of keeping that wrapped around you, but it could be used all you need inside of a uh, inside of a hammock, you could use this as your top quilt. You may just want to close the end in around your feet, but other than that, this would work perfectly. I have used this over the last number of months that I've had it primarily for lounging with. Let's put it that way at home, uh, as well as I've brought it out in a few times in the wood. I have my hammock chair set up today and I've used it just kind of wrapped up inside of that after you sit still for a while and you start to chill off. This is not so big that I can't carry it with me and not so heavy that I mind the extra weight. But boy, what a nice blanket it is to wrap up on in when it's cold outside. So let me just hold this open. I want you to see this Teton fade, if I can do a good job of displaying it. Hopefully you'll be able to see most of this anyway. 
yeah, just a nice pattern, but uh, you probably get a better idea of what the Teton Fade looks like from visiting their website. But as I mentioned, they have so many different patterns uh, and colors that you can choose from that I'm sure there'd be something you would be interested in. Okay, let's wrap this video up with a few pros and a couple of cons about the blanket. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few pros and cons for the original puffy blanket from the company Rumpel. So right off of the top, the thing that most impresses me about this blanket is just how warm it is. Now, it is many times warmer than a wool blanket. In fact, the warmth to weight ratio is much greater than any of the wool blankets I have at home. Now, I can hear some the traditionalists out there, yeah, but wool blanket is so great in many other ways. And that's true. I'm not arguing that point. But when it comes to straight up warmth for weight, you cannot beat this material. Uh, well, you can with a down blanket, but that's another discussion we'll have in a moment. But yeah, this is a great material and a great blanket for staying warm. 2.1 pounds or one kilogram. I have blankets that are five pounds and greater that aren't as warm as this. And of course, much heavier to be carrying in the woods. Now, are there any downsides to a blanket like this? There are a few and right off of the top, durability. Now, this is a blanket designed for for use in the outdoors. So it is made a bit more durable than any of the blankets you have that are designed for use at home. It has a ripstop polyester material. So yeah, it's gonna be more durable, but still you're gonna to have to be careful with this. Try not to get it caught on branches and have it rip, although the rips should not spread very far because of the ripstop nature. Try not to get sparks on it because they will, of course, will melt right through. Other things that are pros to this is this will dry much, much faster than a wool blanket will. In fact, once you, you know, even wet, this is going to retain a lot of its warmth, like a wool blanket for different reasons, but these things will keep you warm even wet to a degree, certainly uh, much better than a down blanket will, but, and they will dry. A wool blanket, once it does get wet, yeah, it takes a while for it to get wet, but once it does get wet, it's going to be forever getting it dry. Not so with this. This is machine washable. Now, unless you happen to have a wool blanket that's designed to be machine washable, and a lot of them are not, then this has got a real advantage. If you get it dirty, just throw it in the washing machine like any other piece of outdoor clothing, and it cleans up very nicely. So um, now, small things. These are the small things that uh, I want to mention only because I think there is room for improvement. I'm looking for, there we are. This is the cape clip. Um, I'm not sure why they designed it. I have an idea, but I'm not sure why they designed it. So it has to be fed through the loop, the matching loop. Where's that matching loop? Here for it to be closed and hung around your neck. Why couldn't it be just um, each side of the clip on either side and just brought together? The only thing I can suggest is that because it's a loop like this, it's gonna be stronger as far as lateral tension is applied to it when it's built like this as opposed to just a snap on either side. I don't know. Uh, it's just a little finicky. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. It's just a little finicky. Unless I have my glasses on when I'm snapping it together, I find that even with cold fingers, it can be a little difficult to kind of feed that loop through. So that's a small thing. Maybe Rumpel will see this video and up or uh, take that into consideration. Those corner loops are a great idea. They really are. They're well built. They're strong. The fact that I could uh, bring them together with another little piece of cord to close the ends off is a great idea. I'll tell you what I would like to see on a blanket like this is a channel running through one or both ends of this that I can run a cord through and actually draw the whole thing closed so that I could turn this into a, uh, a top quilt and use it as my sole piece of uh, sleep equipment when I go out or in a hammock. Um, yeah, it of course would add to the cost of it. And that brings us to the other con for these blankets from Rumpel. They're not cheap. Um, this retails at about $140 US. And yeah, that's not a cheap blanket. Now, cheaper than down blankets are for sure of the same quality, same size and everything, but still not an inexpensive blanket. So that's something to take into consideration. Now, if your budget allows for this, uh, I don't know that there's a better synthetic blanket out there on the market that you can buy. Uh, I don't think I show this little piece of detail, the way it is finished along the corners or along the edges right here, it kind of has a, a cord-like uh, edging to it. So very strong and not likely to come apart or get torn or ripped or in any way. It's just a nice touch. I went over this like every seam along the way, no loose threading, no over threading, no over sews, very, very well made. Yeah. 
high quality item for sure. Just a little bit pricey. That'd be about the only downside. I have come to like this Teton Fade as well. Um, maybe not traditional looking, but when you're car camping, this is just fine to wear around at the campsite. All right. So I think I've given you all the information I can about the original puffy blanket from Rumpel. I will, of course, put all the information I have in the video description below, including the links to where you can purchase this blanket from. I would invite you, if you have any experience either with these blankets from Rumpel or something similar to uh, provide some comment on them. If you have any questions or other comments you want to put, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.